guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. I'm Leah for those of you who are new. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my experience with laser eye surgery. So I had laser eye surgery 12 days ago and I just wanted to come and share my experience from like consultation to recovery and just everything like that really. Just cause I know that these types of videos really helped me out when I was thinking about getting laser. So here I am sharing my experience with you guys. Okay, so a bit of background on me and my eyes. So I started wearing glasses. I think I was about like five or six. And yeah, I had to get glasses cause I couldn't see the board at school. Um, and then I think by the time I was about seven or eight, I had to wear my glasses like full time. I was a full time glasses wearer and then when I got to about 12 I started wearing contact lenses so my glasses kind of just went out the window and yeah I was a contact lens gal. So my prescription in both of my eyes before I had surgery was minus 5.5 which I've definitely seen people with worse prescriptions but it did mean that I couldn't see anything at all like there was no chance of me seeing anything without my glasses or contact lenses so yeah kind of like middle of the road but very bad still and i've actually wanted laser eye surgery since i was quite young i remember when my mom's friend had laser eye surgery and i was like that is so fascinating when i'm older i'm definitely gonna get it and yeah it's just something that i've literally always wanted to do because obviously i just wanted to wake up and be able to see like honestly it's such it's honestly amazing like to just wake up and like, you can just see like, do you know what I mean? But yeah, some of the other reasons that I wanted laser eye surgery was just because it's like one less thing to think about. Like, say for example, if you're packing to go away on holiday, like I don't have to now think like, oh, have I got my contact lenses? Have I got my glasses kind of thing? And also laser eye surgery is definitely more cost effective in the long run, which we'll talk about costs a bit later, but yeah. So I had my consultation to see whether I would be suitable for laser eye surgery with Optical Express. It's Optical Express in Birmingham, the one that's like on the high street opposite Urban Outfitters. And the consultation was free. There's no like obligation or anything like that. And you can just see whether you're actually suitable for laser eye surgery. And I definitely think like, I know that a lot of people have kind of messaged me and said like, oh, I don't know if I can get it done because of this. I don't know if I can get it done because of that you may as well just go and book a free consultation to see whether you'd actually be suitable for it because it's not like you have to pay and you're not going to miss out on anything. So I would say just book a consultation and see because you might be sat there thinking like, oh, I can't have it done, but you never know what they might be able to do for you kind of thing. So yeah, definitely book a consultation. But anyway, in the consultation, they do different like scans and measurements of your eye. So you know, you have to do things like look at the hot air balloon. They like puff air at your eye to check your eye pressure. They just, I mean, I don't know what some of the scans are even doing if I'm completely honest. Um, but yeah, there's nothing to be like worried about. If you've worn like glasses or contact lenses, you'll probably be familiar with like the scans that they do. Um, like they take a look at your eye, check your prescription and things like that. One thing I will say about the consultation though is that they do have to dilate your pupils and <laughs> When they do it, like they put the drops in your eye and then, I don't know, things kind of go like a bit blurry and you won't actually be able to drive after your consultation. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. And it does kind of leave you feeling like a little bit distorted and a bit uneasy, but honestly, it's nothing crazy, you know? So the consultation was completely fine and the guy told me that I would be suitable for laser eye surgery. He said that like your prescription needs to be stable. So if your prescription changes too much and it changes too quickly, then you won't be suitable for it. Um, but he said that mine was completely fine and if anything, my eyes had actually improved, which I was like, what the hell? But yeah, my eyes were suitable for surgery. He did say my eyes were slightly dry and honestly, I wasn't surprised because I pretty much used to wear contact lenses every single day, no breaks. I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a brag, but I did do that every day. So obviously naturally I was expecting to have slightly drier eyes, but they just gave me some drops and yeah, it cleared up within about two weeks. So I had my consultation on the 29th of March and once you've had your consultation and they've looked over your eyes, you go and talk about like the different finance options. So they talk about like how you're gonna pay for the surgery and things like that. And then you book in a date. And honestly, the dates are so close. Like I wasn't expecting the dates to be as close as they were. I thought that like, I don't know, you'd go for your consultation. They'd be like, oh, okay, you can have surgery in like three months. No, they were like, you can have surgery on the 30th of April at 8.15. I was like, that's literally a month away. Like, what the hell? And then it's kind of like just sinking in. Like, this is my last month of wearing glasses and contact lenses. Like, it was such a weird, weird feeling. I was just like, 
as if I'm actually gonna book in for surgery. And also you have to pay a deposit to lock in your date. So my deposit was 500 pounds to secure the day and the appointment. I don't know how it works if you pay cash and pay for it all up front. I went through finance because it was just the best thing to do. Um, so yeah, I don't know how it works with that. But, but yeah, I had to pay £500 to secure the appointment and then I paid it, had the date secured and it was just kind of a waiting game then. You're not actually allowed to wear contact lenses one week before. So I did have one week in glasses, which was so weird to go back to glasses because obviously I hadn't worn them full time since I was like 12. Um, but yeah, I was all right. I survived the week. Okay, so I missed out a very key part of the consultation and it's the fact that they tell you about the different types of laser. So basically there's two different types. There's LASIK with an IK and there's LASIK with an EK. I went for LASIK with an IK because they just really sold it to me. They said it was a quicker recovery time and it would be best suitable. It's also more expensive than the other one, but I'll leave like different things on the screen so you can kind of get an idea and like, get more information on them obviously i am not an eye doctor so you're better off just reading it from them but yeah the way that lasik basically works in a nutshell is they get a laser to like kind of create a thin layer on the eye and then they peel back the layer and then there's another laser that shoots down to kind of reshape your eyes and it gives you perfect vision and well yeah <laughs> i also upgraded my surgery to have something called lasik with eye design and i think the eye design basically just like gets more accurate measurements of your eye and you basically end up with a better prescription and a better result basically so yeah obviously again the eye design is more money but i just thought it was worth it and yeah right so surgery day so like i said before my appointment was 8 15 and 8 15 was such a good time because it's literally first thing in the morning you don't even have time to get nervous really like I felt like I literally woke up and had to go to surgery. Like there was no time for me to like overthink things or anything like that. Like I was just straight there. Even the girls that worked at Optical Express were like 8.15 is such a good time because you'll literally be in and out. Like you're the first one there and you'll just be out super quick. And yeah, if you can get an early appointment, I recommend it. But yeah, on the day you're gonna need to bring like sunglasses with you and like all the paperwork that you've had to sign and things like that. You bring all that with you and as long as that's fine then you basically just have like some pre-surgery scans and they're kind of the same scans that you have at the consultation so it's nothing new nothing scary or anything like that and yeah you know when like you just have to kind of like keep looking at a light or something like that like you don't have to do anything drastic so i had all of my scans and then i had to go and meet with the surgeon to check that my eyes were okay that my eyes weren't dry or anything like that and he said that my eyes were perfect and ready to go and i was like oh let's see this then <laughs> so i saw the surgeon and then i probably had to wait about 10 minutes and then i had to go into the surgery room so i walked into this room there's like a bed in the middle of the room kind of like the same type of bed you see at the dentist I had to go there lie down put all my stuff down um then they've got like a technician there and two nurses and they're kind of like you know talking to you they were talking to me about holidays just to make sure i was at ease and didn't feel nervous or anything like that and yeah they're just chatting about like what you're going to experience and things like that so i was like lying down and then the nurse started putting like the numbing drops in my eye and she kept putting them in quite regularly until the surgeon came and yeah they felt fine they just kind of made my eyes feel really heavy like i just wanted to close my eyes like i can even remember the feeling now i was just like that like i struggled to keep my eyes open then the surgeon came in and honestly he was like such good vibes he was like hello princess leah i was like oh my god this is just like the best treatment ever like i felt so at ease like they made me feel so good i didn't feel nervous or anything like that and they kept like reassuring me there was like there's nothing to be worried about like you'll be completely fine it'll be over so quickly and they were right so the first part of the surgery where they have to like peel back a flap of the eye i don't know skin layer whatever it is the first part of that they basically put like a kind of suction cup on your eye kind of thing and you feel like the pressure it just feels like someone's pressing down on your eye and yeah obviously it's not the nicest feeling to have a suction cup around your eye that's like pressing down but it's over so quickly so that part 
They're only on your eye for about 15 seconds, I think. And then like, you can hear the guy like counting down. So you know that you don't have to like sit there for ages and ages, like having them pressed down on your eye. Once they've kind of done like the little suction bit, they clamp open your eyes with the metal clamps. I don't know why I'm doing this. Yeah, they clamp open your eyes to hold your eyes open. And then that's when they do the second part of the laser. And to be honest, I didn't really know what to expect when they were saying about the second part of the laser. I was thinking like, is a red beam gonna just like shoot down? Am I just gonna see this thing like shooting in my eye? But honestly, it was nothing like that at all. Like you kind of just have to keep looking at like an orange light and you kind of just have to like look at the middle of it. And it's kind of, it looks like it's flashing, but it's kind of quite big at the same time. Honestly, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the weirdest thing ever. And I was like proper paranoid that I was gonna like move my head or something or like move my eye. But they said that like, if you move your eyes too much, like the machine will turn itself off because obviously you can't be moving your eye kind of thing. So yeah, my head was just kind of like this. This is actually how my head was on the bed. And he was kind of like holding my chin as well to keep me still. But honestly, it was completely fine. I had nothing to worry about. I was a little bit scared of the clamps, but he did the clamps so well. I feel like sometimes people have problems with the clamps. And I think when they have problems with the clamps, they also have problems with the re recovery. That's just what I've heard, but mine was completely fine. <laughs> and then they kind of like put the flap back over your eye. And when they did that, I was like, oh my God, I can see. Like I could tell that I could see. And I was just like, that's so crazy. Like I was lying on the bed and I couldn't see before. And now I can actually fully see like it was mad. But yeah, the bit that they do with the second laser, you're only there for like 40 seconds. So it's literally no amount of time at all. Like you just have to think like it's so quick and like it's actually over so quickly. Like you don't need to sit and think, oh my God, I'm gonna be stuck there for ages and ages. Like, no, it's over so quickly. Like it's less than a minute each eye, like it's nothing. But yeah, they kind of like put a bit of like cold water in your eye and then they give you like a few more numbing drops just to make sure you're good for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's over so, so quickly, like, yeah. So recovery. So after the surgery is finished, they kind of make sure you're all good. You can see, obviously your vision is still a bit blurry. It's not gonna be perfect straight away, like straight after surgery. Um, so you just like sit up and then you go into what they call aftercare. So I had a girl and then she came and got me and then she sat me down and then she was like, this is what you need to do after surgery. Like these are the drops you need to use. This is what you need to do. Don't exercise, don't shower until this point, blah, blah, blah. They just literally talk you through everything, but you don't need to worry about like remembering everything because they give you a leaflet which explains it all. But literally straight away you're into aftercare, which probably lasted about five minutes. And then I just had to walk downstairs in the like reception waiting room area and I just wait for my mom to pick me up and then I was on my way home. So I felt completely fine walking out. I knew that my eyes were like a little bit sensitive to the light, but I didn't feel too bad. Like I felt okay. I walked down the high street, like new street if you're from Birmingham um, and I was completely fine. And then I got in the car and I was like, oh, I don't feel too good. Like I just felt a bit like, I just knew that the pain was gonna start hitting me. So by the time I got home, which was literally like a two minute drive away, my eyes had started to sting. Like they were stinging like, oh my God. It honestly felt like someone had shot sand into my eye and then put salt water in my eye. My eyes were burning. I was like, no. And it was okay at first, but then it just got worse and worse and worse. And I feel like it just, you have this feeling of like feeling really heavy, like just like, you just don't even want to open your eyes. Like obviously you've had numbing drops in your eyes and once they start to wear off, your eyes are just kind of, yeah, it just felt really heavy and like weird. And I was just like, I need to go home and be in the dark. Like I just had to get into my house, get into bed. So I got home, took two paracetamol, my mom put a podcast on for me. And then I went to sleep for about two hours, woke up, had a bit of food and then went to sleep again because I was still in so much pain. Like I just wanted to be in the pitch black. Like I wanted it to be so, so dark, but yeah, it was the middle of the day. And when I woke up the second time, I was genuinely shocked because I felt completely fine. I literally felt like nothing had happened. I was like, 
this doesn't even feel like the same day I had surgery. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here and saying that you're gonna have the same experience. Like I know that other people have had really bad experiences where they feel bad for like quite a few days or they feel like their eyes are still really sore, they still feel like they're really sensitive to light. I was completely fine. Literally, I didn't even feel like I needed to wear my sunglasses. Like I still did because I was like, I don't wanna do any damage or anything like that. But I felt completely fine, I was like, I feel like I could go and live my normal life. Like I felt fine. Even like putting the eye drops in and things like that, I felt fine. So I actually have these eye drops that I have to put in every three to four hours. I've been getting on really well with them. Like literally just been putting them in fine. One of them does come out white, which just looks gross. Um, but yeah. And then I also have these drops and she says, I just need to put these in as and when, but yeah i feel good like i honestly thought that like mum was gonna have to like stay the night at mine because i thought i was gonna be down and out i was like expecting like to be awful and honestly i think it got to about what time did i wake up maybe about two and i was like i feel completely fine i was like mum, you can go if you want because i was just like I, I feel like normal it was so weird so so weird um but yeah i mean they do say that the lasik is quick recovery but yeah man that was quick <laughs> obviously my vision was still blurry like it wasn't perfect or anything like that but in terms of how i was feeling in myself i felt completely fine which yeah it was great but yeah i don't want anyone to like hear about my experience and then expect themselves to like not be in any pain or anything like that like i feel like i just got lucky with the recovery obviously everybody's different i've seen people even on youtube like talk about their experience and they talked about like how much pain they were in which i'll leave other people's like videos linked down below so you can hear from like everyone's experience but honestly for me i felt good so sleeping was fine they give you like these glasses to sleep in for the first week and then the day after you have to have your post-surgery consultation so you get checked over by an optometrist and they just make sure that your eyes are okay there's nothing crazy going on they ask you about how you're like feeling and they did a prescription thingy where you read the letters and they said bear in mind that this is the day after so your vision is still a little bit blurry like it's not all the way there and they said that my vision was actually better than 2020 and i was like what what the actual hell and that was the day after and it's weird because the day after like i was kind of looking at things and i was like okay i can't really see that properly i can't really see that and it was kind of like that for the first few days, but I say now that my eyes have settled and when I look around, I'm just like, I can read that, I can see that, I can read that. And everything feels very like HD, like everything feels quite bold. Like, you know when you do that test at the opticians where you have to look at the dots and it's like, is it rounder or clearer with or without? Everything is very clear, very crisp. It's just, oh, it's so good. I'm so, so happy that I did it. So yeah, 12 days post surgery, I'm still putting in eye drops. So I've got eye drops that are for like dry eyes and they're to kind of like mimic tears kind of things just to make sure that your eyes don't get too dry. And I'm just putting them in as and when I need to. I do put them in like quite often. Um, I did have some bruising on my eye, which is still there, but I don't feel anything from it. But yeah, I feel good. But yeah, I 100% think laser eye surgery is worth it. Like honestly, every day that I wake up, I'm shocked when I open my eyes. It feels like, have you ever like slept in your contact lenses and you wake up and it's like, oh my God, I can see. It feels like that, but it's your actual eyesight. And it's like, no, I can actually see. Like I'm not, I don't need glasses or contact lenses. Like I can see it. So it's weird to like, get used to it but like every day when i wake up i'm like i can't believe that i can see like it's so it's just so weird to me but i'm so like happy and grateful that i've been able to do it and yeah they do say that in future your eyes can start to deteriorate with older age but i mean i'll cross that bridge when we get to it okay so one really major factor when it comes to laser eye surgery is obviously the cost so different surgeries cost different amounts and obviously different places will charge different amounts. But the total cost for my surgery was £4,790. Um, and they do have a lot of different finance options available. So you can pay it back in 12 months up to, I wanna say 72 months, maybe. I'm not sure, obviously 
you'll be able to talk to them and like they'll be able to sort it all for you um but yeah they do have a lot of different finance options available but you know i would say don't rule yourself off without talking to them first like you never know what finance options they might be able to give you so yeah it is definitely pricey and expensive however i used to pay for contact lenses monthly and monthly that was like 30 pounds and when you add up how much you'd pay for like contact lenses and glasses over your lifetime mainly contact lenses because obviously that's like a monthly thing that adds up to literally like 20 25 grand so yeah in the long run it is more cost effective but obviously i'm not sitting here saying it's cheap or anything like obviously it is obviously it is expensive but long run you are saving money and yeah i feel like it just it just made sense for me you know it just made complete sense for me but yeah i feel like they do have like a lot of finance options available so it is worth looking into if it's something you're considering to see if you can afford it and see if there's a way that they can make it affordable for you um you know i feel like don't rule yourself out without like talking to them first and even in terms of like i don't know consultations and like the health of your eye and i know some people think oh my god my eyesight's too bad or like my eyes are too dry or anything like that but like just get it checked over because i feel like you never know like i remember thinking like because i used to wear my contact lenses every single day i used to think like oh my eyes are probably too dry for like surgery i'm probably not gonna be able to do it but my eyes were completely fine like so yeah i'd say just go and talk to them they're the experts they're gonna help you through anything and yeah but yeah and i will say that my experience with optical express in birmingham was so so good i felt like everything was explained so clearly i feel like they were just constantly checking up on me and just like making sure i was okay like even like between like consultation and surgery like they were making sure I was okay. Even like before the consultation, they were like calling me and like checking that I felt comfortable like coming into the clinic and things like that. I feel like they were really, really good. Obviously I can't speak for everybody's experience, but my experience was so, so good. And yeah, it was just, it's such a good thing. And I was so happy that I've done it. And yeah, I'm just so happy. So guys, that was it for my laser eye surgery. If there's anything you think I've missed or I've not explained properly, then just like comment down below and yeah let me know if you're thinking about getting laser eye surgery or if you've had it done like what was your experiences i feel like just share in the comments you know help everybody out but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching really appreciate it as always make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye